Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, look what has just arrived. Two Marks 999s. I found these on eBay. Uh, they were being sold as a lot of two for parts. I picked up both of them for $20. I was the only bidder. Really surprising. Uh, but in any case, uh, start with this one. This one arrived, uh, took it apart, uh, had to replace the headlight. There's nothing wrong with this engine at all. Nothing. It works absolutely perfectly. I cleaned the brushes, uh, put a couple of drops of oil on the armature, uh, a couple of drops of oil on the output shaft of the motor, and that is it so far. And this engine is up and running. It runs forwards and backwards. It's just, it runs absolutely perfectly. No idea why it was being sold for parts. This one, on the other hand, someone had taken it apart and just absolutely butchered the E unit. They had pried it out of the uh, motor, evidently trying to repair it, uh, stuck it back in there, and it was just frozen solid. It wouldn't do anything. So I bypassed the E unit on this engine and put a couple drops of oil on it, cleaned the armature, and uh, both of them are up and running. And like I said, I got both of them for $20, and I was the only bidder. It's really hard to explain that. Uh, they both are complete, have front and rear trucks. They're both running actually quite well. So uh, just put them on the track. So the uh, first one, this is the one that had the uh, butchered E unit, is running on the inside rail. And this one, like I said, I have no idea why it was being sold for parts. There's nothing wrong with it that I have found. I had to replace the headlight in it. So we'll take this one around first. That's pulling 2010 litho cars. That's at 35% power right now. So as you can see, that is running just absolutely perfectly. Now this one runs forward and reverse, as you see, and runs absolutely perfectly as well. So there's two complete 999s for $10 each, being sold to parts. Now it's hard to account for that. And they're both running absolutely perfectly. Alright, get these things stopped again. You can see how well this is running. So, as I always stress, don't overlook the junk. Um, why no one else bid on these, I have absolutely no idea. You can see they're far from perfect, but they're both complete, they're both original, and they're both running. So, really difficult to beat that. So, both of these, it was called lot number 10. Uh, two 999s being sold for parts for $20, and I was the only bidder. So I just wanted to do a quick video. Uh, so they got here, I don't know, an hour or so ago, something like that. And uh, in just a few minutes, both of them were up and running. So they need to be cleaned up, lubed. Uh, the uh, paint is far from perfect. But uh, remember, these are old engines. And uh, the neat thing about them, of course, the only reason I buy these is just to fix them. It's just the challenge of getting them running. And uh, I have probably 12 of these now. I'm not really sure how many I have, but I have several of them. And very few of them, I buy them for parts, but very few of them actually wind up as parts. So far, I've gotten like 99% of these things running in just a, a, a matter of minutes, unless there's something majorly wrong, physically wrong with them. As long as the uh, uh, main coil is intact, and uh, the wheels will turn if you do the bypass that cures 99 percent of the problems on all of these engines in my experience the e-unit is the weak link in the, the marks motor uh, probably not so much on uh, standard motors but the uh, these engines i buy have been stored really poorly for long periods of time most of them simply do not run 
But like I said, just a few minutes work and they're both up and running. And uh, this one in particular is running quite well. And not perfect, but it's running, it's original, it's complete. And it was $10. Really difficult to beat that. So I just wanted to do a quick video on these. You know, don't overlook the junk. I found both of these on eBay. $20 for both of them. And they were both being sold for parts. So I just wanted to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.